crowds, constant queuing, overpriced cafes, cable cars and even a toboggan ride. Yet this is not a theme park. This is the Mutianyu section of the Great Wall of China. An estimated 5 million people visit this stretch of wall every single year, making it the second most popular section for tourists. It's busy, it's noisy, and it feels quite new. It doesn't have to be like this. The Great Wall of China has been on my bucket list for as long as I can remember. It is incredible up here. But at over 21,000 kilometers long, it's hard to know where to start. Should you visit a restored or ruined section? An easily accessible or a remote section? Full on forest on top of the Great Wall of China. We traveled out to three very different sections of the wall with three very different vibes. All with their own unique strengths and obstacles in search of the best way to experience this wonder of the world. My name is Ryan and this is Emma and welcome to a very special episode of the One Shot Adventures China series. Good morning, welcome to Beijing. We just left our very cool hostel in the city and we're heading to Wanjing subway station to get on a bus to see the Great Wall for the first time. So very, very exciting. Today we're heading to a section of the wall called Jin Chanling, which is slightly further away than some of the more popular sections like Bardling. It's also only half restored, so we should get that nice blend of kind of ruined sections of the wall and stuff that looks quite new. start to get our first glimpses of the wall now. The bus drops you off at sort of a service station and then from there there's supposed to be a free shuttle bus but it wasn't there when we arrived so we just got a taxi. We paid 40 yuan each which is way too much but we're a little bit short on time today so it had to do. Although it has all of the same amenities as a busy section of the wall, Jin Shanling was pretty empty. Being that slightly further away from the city can make a huge difference. It's cozy. As we started climbing up in the cable car, I started to feel pretty excited. This is something I'd wanted to do since I was very young. So to me, this is like meeting Mickey Mouse for the first time, but in wall form. I'm having a weird out of body experience now. restored so it's pretty easy to walk on but when you compare it to the pictures of Bardaling or any of the parts of the wall that are much nearer Beijing the crowds and crowds of people you can barely get anywhere and then you come here and there's only a handful so the further we walk on the more wild it should become Shanling is also great for some longer hiking. You can trek along the wall to another section called Simitai and it takes between four and five hours. Just goes on and on and on and on. After our compulsory photo shoot with Chinese tourists, we left Jin Shanling feeling pretty chuffed. We found the shuttle bus this time. But we couldn't help but crave something even more authentic a little more raw, a little more wild. Good morning, it's another day in Beijing and today we're heading out to a very special part of the wall. So we're just heading to the train station now. I've always had a bit of an Indiana Jones obsession. I love ruins and I love hidden gems. 
So we booked a night with the Chen family, who run a homestay from their farm two hours outside of Beijing. And most importantly, they have access to completely unrestored sections of the Great Wall. Now, I know what you're thinking. This does not look like the start of a journey to a hidden gem. And check out what happens when the train arrives and there's no reserved seating. That was insane. This is Beijing's S2 tourist train that leads directly to the most popular section of the Great Wall, Bardeling. But thankfully, we were not going there. We were staying on one more stop to a quieter area called Yangqing. From the train station, we were picked up by a member of the family and very quickly arrived at their home. The village they live in is incredibly small and the farm is so peaceful with probably the best dog I've ever seen. We arrived at the Chen family farm and they gave us a lovely lunch and now we've been dropped at the trailhead ready to climb up to the Great Wall. We're going to be hiking a section called the Hunchback Curve. It's going to take about four hours and it's supposed to be a very, very beautiful spot. This section of the wall is no joke. It is pretty dangerous to climb and I'm not even sure if it's entirely legal to visit. This is very different from the last steps we climbed up. There's barely a path at all. Right. Up we go. <laughs> <laughs> So we just made it to the first watchtower and the views are already amazing. There's just sections of dense forest. You'll be on crumbling parts of wall and then suddenly it'll just be you just get engulfed in forest. Completely overgrown. I don't think many people come here at all. We were looking for wild. This is pretty wild. You can see how the wall snakes right along the top of the mountain. Okay. Why are we going down to go up? <laughs> it's my favourite kind of way. <laughs> Jesus. I have mentioned this already on this trip, by the way, that neither of us are experienced hikers at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, why we chose to do one of the most demanding hikes, I don't really know. Camera has fallen over twice already. Are you okay? More wound. I'm hoping these little things are markers to tell we're going the right way, not remains of the last people that came here. Now this. Ooh, ooh. Just when we thought it was going to get easier, this is the steepest part yet. This looks like a real staircase. Steps! <laughs> Never thought I'd be so happy to see steps. From this to this. From what I understand, this is still part of the Bardling section of the wall. It's just only the top here has been restored and everything around it's just been left to ruin. We've been walking for a couple of hours, haven't seen a single person. And I know I've been saying that a lot on this trip. I said it a lot on Jin Shanling that there was nobody around, but 
there's really nobody around here. The cloud is really setting in now. Can't even see what's in front of us. This is why they call it the Hunchback Curve, because of the way this part of the wall just twists around the top of the mountain, almost like doubles back on itself. There's no more words to describe this place. It's just incredible. It's a very special moment, this. Could be like Michael Jackson here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goes down, which is what we're doing now, mm -hmm. to two towers. We've been looking for two towers in the distance that will show us the way down, and we've finally seen them just up ahead. The two towers! Filming so you can get my death on camera. Mm -hmm. You sure it's perfect. Hikers! Yeah! It'd be nice to stay and watch some more of the sunset, but we've still got a 40 minute at least walk back to the farm. So we don't really want to do that in the dark. <laughs> Which takes us back to where this film started. This isn't even a busy day, from what I've read, it can get a lot busier than this, but it's a very, very different vibe from the last two places we've seen. The restoration is really impressive, the wall looks amazing here, it's just, it's got that kind of Disneyland feel where everything's so set up for tourists that it loses so much of the character that made the other two parts of the wall so nice. You know, there's two cable cars, there's a toboggan down, there's way more people than we've had in the last couple of days, so it's just different. My advice would be to avoid Bardling and Mutianyu completely. If you want that perfect balance of easy access, convenience and a complete lack of people, Jinshanling is great. It's restored, it's ruined, you can walk on it for an hour or you can hike for several. But if you want something more than just a visit, something more like an adventure, take the wild route. And I promise it will be something that you'll never forget. Now then, I suppose there's only one way to finish off this film. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I'm about to slide off the Great Wall of China. Why is that at the Great Wall? <laughs>